2020, they did the Christmas tree stroll at Disney Springs a little differently. They set up the trees all through Disney Springs and you could pick up a free map and walk around and put a sticker where you found them. Each tree had a different theme, from Star Wars, to the Princess and the Frog, to the Haunted Mansion.
spoiler alert, I'm going to show the finished map, although it's 2021, so I don't think it matters. But as you can see, the stickers line up to where the trees are on the map, and when you get completely done, they had two locations where you could turn in your finished map and get one of these buttons to show that you had completed it. We walked around we got to go back and see some of the trees when they were lit up and I think this was my favorite one. It was Fantasia themed and I love Sorcerer Mickey. We also took an opportunity to get some cute pictures in front of some of the decorations they had with the kids. Like most people, we were hoping we could get this year's Christmas tree popcorn bucket. We lucked out and got the very last one at this popcorn stand while we were eating dinner. And if you wait for it in a minute, you'll see the exact moment she realized I was taking pictures of her. Apparently this was supposed to be a private moment between her and her popcorn bucket. When we went in September, Little Man was just starting to really interact with the characters and it was so much fun on this trip to see him point out and say their names and make a point to show us each and every character when he saw them. I couldn't resist having them take pictures in front of these statues. I have pictures from the first time we took Aurora and I love getting it updated pictures every time we go. I don't know about your family, but it's never a trip to Disney Springs if we don't visit Goofy's Candy. Even though we were there right at the tail end of their Christmas celebration and just before New Year's, they still had amazing holiday treats for us to enjoy. We may have gotten a few more than we needed, but we let each kid pick out their own, and they seemed to really enjoy them. I mean, after all, who doesn't enjoy a cookie the size of your head? We also like to get one caramel apple every time we go and we take our own knife when we drive so that we can cut it up and share it. Good tip during COVID when they won't cut it for you anymore. Just seeing all these great treats makes me hungry once again. Until next time, it only takes one little spark of imagination.